Hi, it's Diggy here and welcome to episode four of four and our topic this month is all about line manager as coach and in this particular episode I have raided the chess pieces. <laughs> now what does this represent? This represents looking at things from a much bigger picture. So, so far what we've really been doing is we've been talking about the main players, the, the big pieces, and we've been talking about how to um, instigate those in a way that, that makes sense. So I talked about offering feedback and being very specific with it. We talked about then going into more mentoring, so the more advice elements of things. And only then did we start to talk about coaching. More specifically, we talked about coaching questions. And do you pose those at the beginning or the end of a conversation? And all of those together really represents the stages at which Personally, I feel work best when line managers are trying to coach their teams. Start with feedback, head into mentoring, go into coaching. But there's something else that we haven't really mentioned, and it's these, these little guys here. So the pawns on the board, or prawns, as I always used to call them as kids. The, these little pawns, which help, help to navigate. They are the smaller strategic pieces, but actually without them, this would be a very different game. So what do these represent? For me, these represent uh, a couple of things. So the first one that I've got here represents just talking to your team, which sounds ridiculous to offer as advice, but actually it's really key. There may be some genuine reasons why you aren't able to converse with your team on a regular basis. You may not work on the same site as them, for example, or they might not be a direct link into you. There might be a dotted line. Um, there's all kinds of things. It may just be that you feel as though you'll run off your feet. So having general chit chat isn't really the best use of your time. But believe me, when you actually start to really find out about your team and you talk to them, it becomes so much easier to do this stuff because general conversation links into your one-to-ones, which you'd be having on a regular basis. So when you sit down and you have your one-to-ones, that becomes easier. So that when you offer feedback, mentoring, and coaching, that becomes easier. So this little guy here, talk to your people, find out more about them. But I've got a second one here as well. And this one, even though it looks identical, this is more about talking to yourself. So they both represent talking. This one's talking to your team. This one's about talking to yourself. And what do I mean by that? It means about asking yourself, how is this going? So if this is, um, if you are instigating this, you are a senior manager and you're wanting your line managers to be coaches and you've started to roll out this process, be really honest with yourself. Is this working? Do I need to get an expert in, somebody like me, for example, to, to help out and to um, coordinate or, or help around stuff? Or is it that actually I just need to do a bit more of this stuff and I need to role model it? If you are a line manager and you're starting to roll this out, then again, is this a new process for you? Is it actually going the way that you want it to? So both of those two little things there are just about talking. One is to your team, one is to yourself. And all of this stuff comes in between and you should win your chess game. <laughs> Um, I do hope that you've enjoyed this topic this week. I certainly have. There'll be another one next month. And if you want to find out what that is, the easiest thing to do is go to the Curious Lighthouse YouTube um, channel, click on subscribe, click on the little bell there. You'll get the notifications. And if you've got any ideas for topics that you want covering in future sessions, please do drop me a line at nikki.forster um, at curiouslighthouse.co.uk. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers for now.